Hi there Aries, I'm doing your uh, love reading for the time period of the 16th to the 31st of May. So for this half of the month. Um, um, what I've done here, I, uh, uh, I took some Doreen Virtue uh, Romance Angels card for you. And I have clarified them with the uh, Gilded Tarot deck. And some of it I have clarified it with the um, Rider Waite uh, Tarot deck as well. Um, what I see here now is some type of conflict going on between you and your other half if you're in a relationship and if you are single you may still be dealing with with your ex um, some type of residual conflict is going on between you two um, I feel you feel overburdened you feel like certain things that keeping you up at night um, you're feeling stressed uh, it, it seems like you feel like you're unsure whether these, uh, this type of situation is ever going to close out. Uh, so the first card that came was Deception card. It says someone is wearing a full self mask in this relationship. And when I clarify that, there could be several scenarios happening there. Uh, here, you may be dealing with a uh, earth sign, a pi uh, sorry, Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus. Or could be the sun, moon or rising sign or just a... Uh, male, fi male figure who's um, well established practically, might be a business owner, is really good with his money, quite authoritative as well, could be an older man as well. Um, but the cards that came with it was the uh, Knight, of, Knight of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Swords reversed, and the Knight of Cups. So it's either on your behalf or their behalf you've been dealing with this individual um, and although there are some residual feelings between you two there is a ver no movement of any type of practical beginning or no communication between the two of you at this present moment and if it is some conflict that you had with your ex it could be an involvement of another female uh, who was younger as well uh, than you uh, or um, you know could have been a love triangle as well because I see um, you know someone 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 you know could have they could have set their sights um, onto somebody else um, who is younger more uh, aesthetically pleasing uh, maybe quite um, well established in their business um, side of things um, the next card that came up was uh, Release Your Ex. It's funny how the cards tie in, right? So it says the time has come to clear your energy. And when I clarify this, we have the uh, um, Five of Wands and we have the uh, Four of Swords. So what that tells me is that um, it seems like you've been stuck in some type of situation where the opposition was coming from other people, other people were involved, and it seemed like it's that type of battle that... Um, is, is not the battle that you, you are likely to win. But in this case, either urges you or you are at the moment taking your time to reflect upon this. Um, meditate and come up with some type of conclusion as to how to remove yourself from that situation. Um, the next card that has come up says, keep an open mind. Uh, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So it, regardless of whatever situation you're in now, it seems like there's another Aries that could be present in your life, or this is your own energy. Um, if it's another man, it could indicate someone who is quite authoritative, someone who's well established in business, someone who people follow also. Um, it could be an older man, um, but as I always say, on the contrary, is their way or the highway, unfortunately. However, if this is your energy, that could just simply mean that um, you're keeping an open mind, you're taking control of your life, and regardless of what conflict you had with this uh, King of Pentacles, could be another, earth, could be an Earth sign, as I said, which is the Capricorn Taurus or Virgo, or could just be anyone that conforms to that archetype. And now uh, you know you're taking charge of the situation and you're moving forward, and you realize when it says keep an open mind that whatever type you had before you realize that this does not work for you any longer and we have the full card the full card is actually kind of kind of a good thing it's like um you know a new beginning taking a leap of faith um and you know seeking uh new lessons in life when i further clarify this we have the uh, 
kind of cuts reverse so maybe it seemed like you you've been um you had a lot of choices um uh you know back before but since this reverse is like now you're like kind of clear cut on what you want from life or what you want uh, within your love situation as well the next card we have had is true love and it says this is the uh, romance of a lifetime but when i did clarify that we had the yes it's all cups reversed and we had the world reversed which means that um um also the ace of pentacles when i clarified the first so th there will be some type of practical slow uh, but really um steady new beginning offered to you either now or in the future but for the time being you know you could you may have felt that this individual whom you've been dealing with may have been your soulmate um but that worked out not to be the case or maybe at the beginning they seem really kind and generous but as i said that worked out not to be the case and they were not as giving as you would have expected them to be and the uh, world in reverse um just basically means that th th there's a lack of some type of life cycle closing out and um, a new life cycle th there's no new beginning for you at this moment in time that's how you're feeling and then the final card we had was the children uh, your love life is being affected by children and when i clarified this we had the uh, queen of pentacles we had the king of cups and we have the uh, nine of swords right so we in, in the same spread we have the king and the queen of pentacles but she's now reversed so it could have been like at the beginning of the relationship seemed like perfect like you guys were in your in, in in your own element together you had the same values the same views you you were really materialistically um focused uh, you were focused on your career you were you know you were really practical but now um she's reversed so that means like you kind of realize that this is not the man or the woman for you but there are still some feelings between you two maybe you already have children with this person could be actually a water sign you're dealing with so cancer pisces or a scorpio um but you know something is just because she's in reverse and you're just sitting up there or possibly maybe um could be your own energy you know that you're not with this uh king of pentacles anymore and you're kind of you may not be in control of your practical areas of life but you're very well in control of your own emotions towards this individual um you know maybe there's some type of sharing of financials as well but overall um it, you know the nine of swords is uh, kind of you know being worried at night um some type of mental conflict and anxiety i mean it looks worse than it really is but um something's kind of keeping you um worried you know when you go to sleep is you know these thoughts kind of haunt you and um this energy will pass but for now um for now just um just remember that there is some type of new beginning and i can see some type of progress of you, you taking charge of this situation and now you're pretty straightforward onto what you want which means that true love is possibly on its way but we need to wait you need to learn your lessons and wait until this cycle with this individual you've been suffering with will close out um, and a new cycle will open. Thank you.